when we first turned down our porthole this morning, it was all water and I was like, where's the island? And now we can see it. I know you're excited. I'm so excited. Are y'all ready Beach for- Beach and water. Beach and water. I'm tired. So sleepy. I cannot take you seriously right now. Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla, and I'm Morning. And we are the, the Dean team. team. We are on day seven of our seven night Western Caribbean cruise on the Disney Fantasy. It's Castaway Key Day. We're so excited. Holden, are we gonna snorkel today? Are we gonna ride bikes? Yes. Are we gonna lay in the sun? Yes. So what do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's go! Our last breakfast at Cabanas. Does that come out? <gasps> no. Not a bad spot for breakfast. <sighs> Are you excited for Castaway Key? Why would I not? That's true. It's pretty magical looking. Scott got a made-to-order omelet, which is one of the best things at Cabana's. Ooh, got your baski? Mm-hmm. They also do eggs cooked to order. Somebody went up and wanted two over easy eggs. So oh, okay. you can get them, you know, made fresh if you don't want the scrambled eggs that they have just on the bar. My favorite things are the hash browns, the sausage, and the yogurt. Hash Parfaits are great. Hash browns are the best. Every morning we've had bacon, sausage, eggs, hash browns. They have omelets here. You can do the made-to-order. The donuts are really good. All kinds of pastries. Today they have biscuits and gravy, but that changes up. And then there's all kinds of bread. There's meat and cheese. And this is the best. I love all of these parfaits. They're so good. All kinds of toppings for your yogurts, fruit, cereal. Everyone's looking out at the island. Holden, who are we meeting today? Nice. We've all got our shirts. And this is a meet and greet that you had to sign up for. You could sign up for a meet and greet for The Incredibles, and then you could also sign up for a meet and greet for the Toy Story characters, and they all got snapped up. So anytime you're on a special cruise like this where it's Pixar Day at Sea, make sure any of those special things that you're seeing what you need to sign up for in advance. So we're really excited we get to meet Buzz and I think Jesse. Thank you so much. <laughs> Buzz, we're so happy we got to meet you because we're all wearing our Buzz shirts. Just for you. Oh, so we did get to see Jesse's amazing dance moves at the Hey Howdy Breakfast, breaking it down. Woody has some good moves too, I will say, and Bullseye. So yeah. Oh, you can do it too? Yeah, oh. see? Do we have to do the Spanish mode? <laughs> <laughs> we just got off the ship. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Scott's grabbing our towels. We got off the ship right at 8.30 when we were allowed to start unloading. Going to the back of the ship was much better than trying to get off at midship. We decided to walk so we could see everything, but they do have trams that will take you right where you wanna go. And there are plenty of spots on the beach. The characters don't come out until nine, but there are a few characters meeting and greeting over in kind of the beach area throughout the day. So we're gonna try to catch some characters. We got our spot close to Pelican's Plunge over there, the slides. So we're kind of in the midway point but definitely most families stop closer to the ship. There are loads of chairs. I was surprised to see that people claim the hammocks. I thought they were more take a turn and let somebody else have it. Straight ahead is Heads Up Bar, and then you can see the slides over that way. That's where we're gonna head first, I think, before the lines get long. That's fun. He's in. Come on. Skyla looks cold out there. What are you doing? Here we go! Oh. 
I'm here, come to meet my voice. I really like the way they did the slide, that there's an entryway that you go in and you have to swim out to the facility. You go down the slide, then you have to swim all the way out and restart. So you can't just go down the slide, hop back on, go down, hop back on, that it really is, you know, it takes some time to do the entire experience. Where are we going? We're going to an in-water obstacle course. Please let me go up first. <laughs> Can you get the Mickey? I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna jump. Okay, just jump. The obstacle course is 14 years and under, but the lifeguard said that an adult can come on the platform and help if they want to. They just can't use the rope. Rope, I think, is easy to do the. Can you get all the way out there? Wow, that's very good. I couldn't do that. And the point is just to jump in. Hi, Daisy. You look so fabulous. I love that even on a beach day, you have your pearls. Yes, always. Yes. <laughs> Always an accessory, right, Daisy? And their matching outfits are pretty fantastic too, right, Daisy? Yes. Yes, very colorful. <laughs> yes, and some Mickey Mouse. Oh, she says she really likes your dress. Well, thank oh, you. And his portraits are pretty cool too, right, Daisy? Yeah, I think we could get a matching pair for Donald, maybe. <laughs> Hello. They have some questions for you. Whose is that? Whose is it? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Whose head is that? It's my mother. Whoa! Yeah, I don't, oh. don't even think about doing that. Is that the compass to the um, black pearl? To the black pearl. Think that will take you there? If I want to, then maybe it will. Mm. Or whoever I want to get what I want most. Actually. Right this way. So what are you doing here? What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to look in the ocean for stuff like treasure. Look right. for some treasure? What's up? Treasure. Right. Treasure and rum. Some of us are young for that, mate. Oh, um, maybe. He did right. the rum tasting, so if you're wondering why all the rum's gone, yeah. he did it. Alone? <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Every I had a couple friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Not even Colton can do that. What kind of treasure are we talking about? Anything shiny? Something older? Um, rock? She loves rocks and shells. That's treasure to her. Is it scary jumping off the ship? Like, when you, you like come before. down on the rope. Well, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do regardless of the consequences or how you feel about it, eh? Sometimes you just stand at the edge and you just get that sudden urge to jump, eh? You get that urge all the time. He's, our, da he's our daredevil. Really? So yeah. you know exactly how it feels. He would make today. a great pirate. Have you ever considered the pirate's line, then? <laughs> Why not, mate? You think about it. Freedom, eh? To do whatever it is that you want at any time. It's a good idea. What about you? Um, You're bouncing with excitement, Lars. <laughs> Evidently, you think it's a good idea, eh? Um, right, I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> That's a yes. The kids really wanted to meet Daisy and Captain Jack Sparrow because those are the only two characters throughout this whole cruising experience that we haven't met yet. And their autograph book is full with amazing memories of meeting all of these characters. Captain Jack is amazing. We also didn't meet Ariel. You couldn't meet Ariel on this cruise? Oh. Okay. But it's a cruise, she should be in the water. She should be here. She should be on this island, like yeah. in, yeah like on a rock. Now we are going to get a kayak for 30 minutes, which is mostly for photo ops. We wanted to do one of the water kind of adventure things and we'll see how it goes. Those are not shadows, bud, those are stingrays. When you do the stingray adventure, they bring the rays up and you get to feed them and then you get time to snorkel in this enclosed area with the stingrays. And it's right next to where you rent all of the other things that we just listed off. Oh, 
look at those people over there. Hi. The view is pretty good. Let me show you the cruise ship. It looks so small from over here. Fun. Camp. <laughs> Not so fun. Let's go like this way, babe. I went over and around a little bit. They said stay away from the net. Okay, I'm gonna do that. In my upper body workout. Are we deep out here, buddy? That's okay, that's not too bad, and we're pretty far. The water is very clear. Show me your paddling skills. Nice. I think we're going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I need to do it too. We're getting back to shore. Let's do this. We did it. How was it? It was, it was hard, but besides hitting him in the head, oh, it yeah. was really fun. There's no back. So. I feel like my abs just gotta work out. But it was cool to see the ship, and there are a lot of people out there, but I feel like you still have your own space. And looking down, everything is just perfectly clear. Mickey sighting. Skyler got chocolate, Holden got banana. How is it? Just as good as on the ship? And mom got banana too. I did. Got the banana. It's even better, because it's hot here and it's cold on yeah, the ship. Yeah, you're right. And we just saw Wilson. Our um, server. He's awesome. This bird situation is insane. Whoa. Grab a bag of chips. There's coleslaw, potato salad, grilled sweet corn salad, pasta salad, beef brisket sandwich, burgers, hot dogs, ribs, chicken, all kinds of sides. For dessert, we have brownies, pineapple upside down, there's cornbread and ooh, they gotta refill the chocolate chip cookies. I think this is like our third Cupid shuffle of the cruise. I think there's gonna be characters over there. cookies was very delicious and it was just so different than what we got on the ship especially because they can use an open flame so they can do barbecue and it's been so long since we've had that. It was good The barbecue. brisket was very good on the sandwich but it's more like shaved deli brisket more than barbecue brisket. Still very good. The ribs were great. Kids had hot dogs. There's hamburgers. There's chicken. Some sort of fish. All the salads were great. Yeah it was good. And the cookies. I cookies. And cookies. We just dropped the kids off at Scuttles Cove to play for a little bit and so now we're taking a tram to get to another tram to get to Serenity Bay, which is the adults only area. Kids didn't even say goodbye. Yeah, they just ran off. Yeah, they were, we were like, what the heck? It's very bouncy. Oh, uh, they're doing the 5K. There's a bike path. got our last drink of the day. It's called a Stingray. Can you believe it's our last one? This has been the best thing. 550 for a nice tropical drink. You really can't beat it. And with this view, it's like taking it up to an 11. We checked out the view from Serenity Bay. We actually like this one more just because you can see the ship and it's really cool. I mean, it's a beautiful view out that way. We didn't stay very long, but now we're gonna go snorkeling. Swim to me. How do I look? <laughs> Great, we're almost there. 
That was my aerial hair flip. How was it? Was it very princessy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's yes. so crazy to see this. Like you're looking and you're like, this is stingray, this is amazing. And then Disney statues. So cool. Snorkeling was amazing. I think we earned this pina colaza, which is delightful. The kids had so much fun at Scuttles Cove. Holden said that the splash pad area there was super fun. Skyla played a bunch of the games. They saw some of their friends. It's so nice because it's the same team who work inside the Oceaneer Club, so they recognized everybody. And then we came back to Pelicans Point area where we're gonna try to do the slide again, but the line's really long now. So the kids were like, let's just swim. We're gonna try to catch some bikes because we got the package that has the snorkel gear, the bikes, and the float. And so they're using the floats right now, which is great, but we don't know if we'll get to the bikes or not. I do want the kids to try snorkeling. I do think it's a little bit hard. For me, I felt like I had to keep holding the thing that goes around your neck down and then just kick with my feet because it kept like riding up like that. So I could see how for kids it'd be a little bit harder, but I will say the mouthpieces on these snorkels are so much nicer than the ones we had in Cozumel. So that part was so much easier with the mask. Amazing experience getting to see all of the Disney things under there. You don't know what it's gonna be until you come right up under it and it was amazing. No, we're not riding on sand. <laughs> it's all paved. You ready for this, my bud? Hi. Hi. One handed. Whoa. Say hello. So my little flip. Oh, hi. Made it. <laughs> Yay. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. We gotta keep swimming. Holden said he likes his bike. Good. It's a very big anchor. To be nice photo ops along the ride. It's more breezy than I expected. I thought we were going to be sweltering. Yeah, and there's shade. Granted, yeah. it's this time of day. Did Mr. Incredible pick this up? Yes. He did in the play for his little show. You can just see the lookout poking out over there. You can see the lookout? Yeah, I can see the lookout. It's right there. Awesome. I like it now that I got a hang of it. I had to take my shoes off. Oh, okay. My shoes are hitting me. We're at the midway point we found the lookout tower. We're gonna head up and check out 
what I'm sure is a gorgeous view. It's cool, isn't it? You want to put it on the bird? Oh, look at that dude sunbathing. <laughs> you don't see anybody sunbathing. Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. I'm looking at the Disney Fantasy right there. <laughs> you can see the Disney Fantasy way out there. Scott just pointed out there's a little bird in this outhouse. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. If you like it, should put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Hello there. Well, hey. I'd recommend this for sure. It's a nice way to see parts of the island that you wouldn't normally get to see. And it's crazy how much of it is undeveloped. Like, you don't think about that when you're over in the other area. So it was really cool to get a different perspective of the island. So I'm really glad we did this. It's cool being out on this big runway. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. right there, I see it too. We tried, we're trying to snorkel, Holden's not feeling it, but Skyla wants to go see Prince Eric, so you take her out there. I'm gonna stay with Holden, we're gonna swim over here. They're the last two out of the ocean, how? We're gonna catch the tram to head back to the ship. Something that's really cool here is you can send mail with Bahamian stamps. Yeah. Such a cool view of how the aqueduct comes off the ship. <gasps> the license plate is... <laughs> Lounder, your favorite. This is my new car. It's been a crazy few hours. We got back on the ship. We ran up to deck 11 because the kids wanted to ride the aqueduct one more time. We were waiting in line for the aqueduct and we saw a castaway key and everyone was waving to us and they had the Mickey hand gloves. The horn blast sounded and we heard all of those and it was magical. So I recommend being on a deck as you're sailing away from castaway keep. We went and saw Disney's Believe, which was an amazing show. Holden fell asleep again, third time. That one was very magical. I cried twice. Then we dropped the kids off at the Oceaneer Club we packed the room in record speed. You have to put any of the bags that you're not taking in your carry-on, you have to put out in your hallway by 10 p.m. We had to get everything out there because we have dinner at 8.15 and now we're heading into Enchanted Garden. It's been a crazy few hours. We're excited to go eat. We have some good appetizer options this evening, but I'm really excited about these soups and salads. And then I'm just gonna let Joel tell me which main course we should get because he's always right. I'm kicking it off with the white and green asparagus. I got the charcuterie. That looks really pretty. Holden's eating a salad again. High five, bud. Way to go. 
and Skyla's got the tendies. I also got the shrimp because it's our last night and why not? This was Joelle's recommendation. This kind of looks like hot chocolate, but it's mushroom soup. My salad looks phenomenal. Looks like arugula or something. It has a mixture, mixed My greens. My salad looks a little bit better than your yeah, salad. Yeah, looks a lot better. The sky is starting to change. It's becoming dust as you eat your salad. Everything's opening up. Do you feel like it's getting later? <laughs> My turkey is here. Scott already started eating. New York strip steak. It's one of the better steaks. All of them have been medium of the road, but it's good. And I took hold into the restroom and they put a thing on top of it to keep it warm for me. It's my favorite part of the evening. Dessert time. I'm gonna get one of everything tonight because it's our last night. Well, maybe not everything, but a lot of it. Attention to detail there. You all got some beautiful chocolate sundaes. Is it good, bud? Looks like a flower. All of our desserts look beautiful this evening. Oh my goodness. We had to go hard tonight. You better go, go, go. Go, 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 go. martini bar and every city that's on the screen has two different martini options. Which ones do they have for London? Perfection. Hair. 
Thank you. Ooh, thank you. We opted for the Aphrodite, and it is Metoxa, which he said is a spirit, and then Cointreau orange passion juice, freshly muddled thyme, coriander, rosemary, basil, and mint. Right now we're in Florence. What do you think, my love? It's delicious. Ooh, it's so good. Yeah, so different. It's a flavor. Ooh, ooh. Barcelona. We're in Barcelona now. It's a magic trick. Now we're moving on to the ooh la la. Rum, elderflower, liqueur, freshly squeezed lime juice, mint leaves, and soda water. And it tastes fresh. I'm pretty sure the scene changes in here every 12 minutes. I like too, it's not just a picture of the places, it looks like a live feed. It's probably just a loop of yeah. 12 minutes, mm -hmm. but you feel like you're really there because it's got that. We're looking at Scott's pedometer. Which day did you walk the most? If you want a, your kids to be a detective, oh. you will walk five and a half miles and 26 flights of stairs. For the mid-shift detective agency yeah. day. That was also Pixar day at sea. That was and then a the other day at sea was 5.4 miles and 27 flights of stairs. How many pounds did you play this? 10? <laughs> Today. Today. Heads up. Yeah, I would have done this every day. Just over that next bridge. You can play every single one. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Hi, Andy's room. Wait, I gotta do it one more time. Aww. Our favorite cast member, Coops, left us a note on our door. That was so sweet. That was really kind. Kids are having a rough time. Hey, we're seeing research. will be okay. This is Disney magic right here. Coops, who already drew phenomenal pictures for us, gave Skyla this brilliant card. So kind. We love you, Coops. Our last towel animal, and I'm pretty sure it's a penguin. It's our last morning on the Disney Fantasy. We're all really sad. Last night, the kids were crying as they left the Oceaneer Lab and Club. They just had such a great time there. They loved all of the counselors and made so many new friends and they were not ready to leave. So we all had a moment where we went and sat in the atrium at like midnight. We all just had kind of a group hug and talked about how lucky we were to have this experience. And hopefully at some point again, we will do another Disney cruise. I'm kind of reflecting on the experience. I did so much planning in advance. Scott was kind of along for the ride and we both said it was 100% worth what we spent on the cruise. To give you an idea, the base price for the cruise was $4,003. That doesn't include gratuities, alcoholic beverages, excursions. We knew we would experience Disney magic on this cruise from the dining team and the characters and all of that. But every single person we encountered was just like family by the end of the cruise. I mean, there were just so many people who made the experience amazing, especially the counselors in the Oceaneer Club and Lab. They are so amazing at what they do. Their energy is nonstop until midnight. I don't know how they do it. It was really, really nice to get to know people throughout the week. We talked to the person who's in charge of all of the entertainment and just thanked him for having so many amazing offerings. You can't do all of the activities that they have for you. We did not tour the Vibe or Edge areas, which are for the kids who are older than Oceaneer Club level, but they had just as many activities for them. I kind of thought, oh, we need to do this cruise before the kids are too old and they're too cool for it. The kids who are older, like preteen, teen, looked like they were having just as much fun <laughs> as our kids. I think we did everything we wanted to do on the ship. The only things that we didn't do was go shopping. I literally never was stopping towards the gift shop areas, I guess. So we did not buy any merchandise. We never went in the hot tub in the adults only area because it was always busy and there's only one. We did not go to the spa. 
We've heard spa services are amazing here. That's just not something we did. There were some activities obviously that we wanted to do that we just, it didn't work out with timing, but I do feel like we got a wide variety of the activities, animation classes, to trivia, to dance parties, making crafts. The kids were always coming back from the Oceaneer Club with so many crafts. I'm really happy we did the excursion that we did in Cozumel, Mexico. Would highly recommend that catamaran ride and snorkeling and beach fun. I'm excited for when Holden's a little bit older. A lot of the excursions start at age eight. We hope we can do some more adventurous things as he gets older. Castaway Key, I had been dreaming about. It exceeded just my wildest dreams. It was such a beautiful day there. Coming on a cruise in January, I was really afraid the water was gonna be freezing and it wasn't. I know it changes year to year, but I had no trouble getting in the water snorkeling and I'm a big wuss when it comes to cold water. The pools, you know, are heated when they need to be. The aqueduct is cold, but otherwise, you know, we had no problem. And I got sunburn, so bring your aloe even in January. The shows were absolutely incredible. I think my favorite show was Frozen. You do need to get to the theater early. That was one thing on the cruise I don't think I realized was that you do kind of have to queue up for things. The character meet and greets, the lines do get very long. You do kind of need to look at the navigator app. You can't see until you get on the ship which characters, what time they're meeting, which night the shows are, when the activities are. It was kind of a learning curve for us because as soon as we got on the ship, we were like looking at the app, like, okay, what's this? Where is this? So we kind of figured it out, but you do kind of have to plan your week of which characters you really want to meet, which shows you really want to go to. The Frozen show was definitely the most popular, so Scott waited and he got a second row seat. It was phenomenal. We also went to the Magic show, which was packed at 2 p.m., and that was really great too. I think the only show we missed was The Juggler. There are so many offerings throughout the week, and just obviously it's Disney, so first class entertainment. Rotational dining, we haven't really talked about at all this whole week because we've been rushing to our meals, but with rotational dining, you're with the same server and assistant server for all of your meals. Joelle and Wilson, we love you. You're amazing. It's so great to have people who know you. They know what you like, what you don't like. I thought Animator's Palette was gonna be my favorite restaurant, but it actually ended up being Enchanted Garden. We had Royal Court the first two nights, so I think we, the kids were getting used to the dining. We chose the later dining because we didn't want to feel rushed to get ready to go to dinner we kind of thought oh okay 8 15 to 9 15. no no it's at least an hour and a half experience so that was one thing if your kids can't stay up late definitely try for the early dining i get why people do that luckily our kids go hard and stay up till midnight we made sure we got them snacks to tide them over and that worked out and obviously joelle and wilson made sure that they got their food first for the rotational dining we had three nights at Royal Court, two nights at Enchanted Garden, and two nights at Animator's Palette, but we chose to do Remy. So what we did was we made sure that Remy was on the night that was our third night at Royal Court. So we had two, 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 and an evening at Remy. Would highly recommend Remy. It was phenomenal. Glad we had that experience. Paolo Brunch so good too. If you have time and can experience those things, I highly, highly recommend that. It was just next level dining. The food was good in the rotational dining. I especially liked all of the desserts. Ask your servers what they recommend because Joelle never steered us wrong. When you get off the ship, if you had late dining, you go to breakfast at 8.30. If you had early dining, you'd go at 7.30. So a lot of people were frantically getting off the ship. We kind of got to relax a little bit. The kids are still asleep. The sun is coming up. We're gonna slowly mosey on down to Enchanted Garden for our last meal on the fantasy. <laughs> so sad. Hold in. 8 a.m. Are you ready? No, are you sure? Bye room 9577. It was a good room, my bud. Oh yeah, this is a bar here. It's crazy. <laughs> it's remember, people. take an elevator up to go down, or down to go up. Wow. Gotta pick our last meal. Careful. We're gonna miss having several courses every day. <laughs> we each got an omelet for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Stepping off the ship. We're back where we started. Whew. 
sad times. The checkout process was very easy. Your luggage tag, we had Mickey tags, so we just went to the Mickey section, grabbed our bags, very simple. The line was long. It looked very chaotic, but it was almost like a constant moving around. So they know it wasn't what they're doing. We just have everything in one hand, passport, sports certificates, and just be able to hold it over because they won't let you go to the next step unless your whole family is together and you've got everything together ready to just hand it off. So make sure everything's out and ready to go. Also, I left my lounge fly under our table because we were saying goodbye to Joel and Wilson and the kids were getting emotional. They grabbed it for me, no problem, no issues. And but don't, don't, leave, don't leave anything because they won't let you back on. Yeah, I know, dang. I thought, I, I thought they'd let me run back in. No, I didn't. No. Thank you so much for coming along on this seven night Western Caribbean cruise on the Disney Fantasy. I'm so happy we chose the Fantasy as our ship. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy we chose seven nights. So, yeah, otherwise it would have been way too short. It's never long enough, but we really hope We'll be sailing with Disney Cruise Line again at some point. We've been putting out a whole series of vlogs about our cruise and what happens each day. We've been trying to give some tips along the way. What we learned being our first cruise too. Our first ever cruise ever. and first Disney cruise. Thank you so much for coming along with us. We'll see you real soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring.